All right, all right, Stable Paw, this is very important. I just brought you a couple of really amazing eggs and I need to know what's in them. Welcome back. Any egg is safe here in my paws. Why not hatch one? Absolutely, I'm going to hatch one. <gasps> we have three of them. Oh, you guys, I completely forgot we have two rare monster den eggs and this newbie. I'm really, really hoping that's going to turn into like that amazing rainbow monster. Uh, but first up, let's go ahead and hatch these two. Hello, little one. I think you have a rare gene I might be able to use in the future. Hey, and it's another Poltrome! Wow, we're ending up with a whole bunch of those guys. So we'll go ahead and leave him to the side. He might be able to use his genes in the future to help out with Lancelot being able to learn something new. And then what's inside this one? Hello, little one. <gasps> another Yon Cuckoo! Oh my gosh, it knows a ton of different things. That's so cool. I wonder if we'll be able to actually have Seki learn from it. And then finally, our third and final mystery egg. I freaking love being able to hatch so many of these. <gasps> it is a Pookie Pookie. I love it so much. I kind of love the name Pookie Pookie as well. Like, look at this guy. Look at him. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. Okay, we'll just go ahead and leave the name like Pookie Pookie and it's gonna be a little Poo or a little Kiki. In fact, I love Kiki. Okay, we're gonna change the name to Kiki because I actually think that sounds amazing. So we have little Kiki with us. I'm so happy about that. Okay, Lancelot, no offense. I'm gonna go ahead and swap you out so you can watch after all of these other little ones. Uh, and we have little Pookie Pookie. What are your or little Kiki? Okay, so... Anti-bleed gene, what? I wonder what on earth that does. Whoa, okay, we'll have to figure out the whole bingo list thing later because that negates bleeding, very low chance of activation, it's a passive skill. We'll have to figure out what the heck that is all about, but that gives us another technical monster. It seems I'm kind of a little bit of a sucker for them uh, on our team and a brand new monster to be able to show off. So all right, hello everyone and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, where we're back in town taking care of our brand new monsters. I am so excited that we have little Kiki with us now too. And we are getting ready to actually go ahead and tell the chief, Chief Gara, about all of the mysterious things that have been happening. An Anjanath? Scary, right? Wow. It's not normal for an Anjanath to appear on the island. Strange things have been happening since the festival. Oh, I hope our little village isn't at risk. How awful. Okay, and then, oh yeah, they're really spooked about this. Here, we'll go ahead and we'll offer up another prayer. I'm trying really hard to like level up our prayer pot. No idea if I'm like having any luck with it, but we'll just keep going. Um, let's see, do I have any quests to turn in? We do! The Hakalo Commodities. I'm crazy about commodities, an enthusiast to the core. Speaking of which, could you help me collect some items? I'll take anything you found on Hakalo Island to start. All right, well, they just give us a couple stones and a tiny bit of zenny, but I do have a bunch of unique mushrooms I could turn in. I do have some king truffles. I hate to like give that up, but here, we'll turn in some of these mushrooms. That, that sounds like me. And that actually lets the Kiki level up too and learn Tailspin. Okay, that sounds really cool. Not nearly enough Zenny for anything cool, but we'll take it. And I, do we have any new quests that I can actually take? Uh, okay, I should probably complete some more of those quests pretty soon. All right. So let's go talk to the chief and then I might see if I'm able to do anything. You found some. Oh, I found something. Hello. So Siri, did you bring me any dust shrooms? I sure did. Totally forgot about that. Nice, and Kiki is now up to level five. Sweet. Wow, that kid gave us a lot of like Zenny, and he also gave us a ton of blue mushrooms. Thank you. Hmm, these dusk uh, dust shrooms are very small and don't look edible, but just holding them makes me feel a little braver. If you find any more, can you bring them to me? I'll leave a note on the quest board for you. Oh, cool. So that's gonna be like a regular thing we can help this timid boy out with. Nice. All right, time to go ahead and talk to Chief Gara. Then we'll see what kind of really cool like weapons and new gear we might be able to make out of the, uh, the little Kiki, Pookie Pookie um, gear that we got, like all of its pieces. Kind of excited. Chief, 
We've got cause for concern. We ran into an Angina and a Puke Puke. Puke this Puke. Place isn't safe. An Angina? Yeah, it attacked us right out of the blue. This is I don't pretty know serious. If this is because of Guardian Ratha, but strange things are happening all over the island. You really would want to have a sense of safety in this world, especially since you are supposed to live in harmony with the monsters versus like living behind all the walls and forts of the other monster mm. hunters. Without Guardian Ratha's influence, the monsters may be having a hard time restraining themselves. Wow, living under the protection of Guardian Ratha really made so a big too. difference. We should investigate the Guardian Ratha woods. That's where all this started. Hmm. Of course. You both have my permission to enter the sacred mountain, but make sure you're ready. Okay, we'll do our best. All right, the seal din. After the Anjanath, you've encountered a Puke Puke. Now, the Guardian Ratha, now that Guardian Ratha is gone, rampaging monsters terrorize the land. In order to uncover the truth behind these strange events, you head to where it all began, the Guardian Ratha Woods. All right, we've got to check out the Guardian Ratha Woods now. We should follow Chief Gar's advice and get ready first. All right, get ready with like new gear, Welcome. perhaps? All right, Smithy, tell me what we can do with, I'm hoping, Let's see. <gasps> Pookie Pookie armor! Look at how cute it is! I love it so much! That is my new favorite armor. That looks so perfect for me. I absolutely want to be able to make that. All right, so that would be four scales. Um, however, let's make sure before I dive into every... <gasps> the blooming blade! Or the blooming archery! Or a blooming knife! Oh, that's actually what Kana has, isn't it? Okay, those all look amazing too. Gosh darn it, I want all of it, but I really want the gear the most. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna craft ourselves up the gear. It looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. And we probably wanna go ahead and maybe try to do some upgrading, but can I actually get the blooming blade or would I want the blooming knife? crit rate and we also have you know i feel like maybe having a little bit of defense and being like a little oh we could do it we could actually do it i totally want this i totally want this i know like come on we already had a pretty strong sword and unfortunately we don't have as strong a sword now but upgrade weapon blooming blade uh i i have Ugh, I don't have enough skills. So we need to find another Puke Puke, unfortunately. And then we need to get more uh, Ku Kaku scales. So I need to grab those in order to be able to really upgrade our Blooming Knife. But I absolutely want to be able to do that. Meanwhile, can I go ahead and upgrade our Kulu Beak? I think I can. Let me see. No, I can't, uh, not unless I want to use up the plume. So I am going to have to do a little bit more fighting with Kulu Kulu as well. Thank you. Oh, this is so cool. I love this look. This is so totally me. I am covered in feathers. I, I can absolutely live this life. But all right, guys, now I've really got to think about this a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and make ourselves up some life soot if I can, because we definitely ran into some problems before. We need stones and herbs for that. Also, uh, well, we have a whole bunch of these Manaha Dunkers, which would be great to eat. Some Immunizer wouldn't be bad. I haven't really used that yet, though. Hmm. Take care out there. Wow. You're starting to look like a proper rider now, Siri. You've got Red's tenacity in you. No one's ventured into the Guardian Wrath of Woods for a long time. It could be teeming with strong monsters now. Make sure to keep an eye on your hearts and restore them if they get low. We're counting on you, Siri. All right, thank you very much. Oh, I feel really prepared to be able to go into the deep woods with this outfit. It's kind of amazing how pumped up you get depending on like what gear you have. At least if you may. All right. To get to Guardian Ratha's den, we need to follow the path north and go through the forest on the hill. It's usually off limits, but since we've got the chief's permission, we can go right ahead. All right, we'll go ahead and do that. And since we're going into the forest, let's actually swap our lead monster. <gasps> look at Kiki! Kiki, you look so cool! Roar! When riding a monster that can roar, then you can let out a fearsome roar, intimidating weaker monsters and causing them to stop moving. Not all monsters are affected by this. 
Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and swap over to Sunfeather for just the first little bit because I wanna be able to gather up what we can. Herbs, that's just a normal den, but we do need some more stones and herbs. I think I'm finally starting to get into the groove of how you collect these things. And then we'll kind of take a peek as we pass the places the dens normally are to see if any of them are rare. And also grab some stones when we spook those guys. Oh, one of our charm effects is worn off. No! I do need to go ahead and take out some more Velocipray too. So let's do that because I need to gather more of their stuff to upgrade my hammer. I think we snuck up on them a little bit. All right, let's see. So these guys are usually, I think, pretty fast. So we'll use technical attacks on them. Yes. All right. Look at my cool new gear. Okay, yeah, these Velocipray are not a problem at all. <laughs> and it's very useful to go ahead and collect some of their skills. I'm just gonna have to kind of like cover my eyes and be like, la 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 la. I'm sure that we totally just, they dropped it while we were clearing them out of the path. And this is actually important. You know, taking them out and making sure that they don't get too close to the village. Cause think about this, like these guys, could attack some of the villagers, and we can't have that happen. They are no longer even an issue. Oh, and Sunfeather! I feel like Sunfeather is really doing a great job bonding with me. Good job, Sunfeather. That was like so easy. And now I have so much stuff, I think we're good. Hopefully that will help me to be able to upgrade more of my weapons. So fast, and just like that, it's over. All right, we'll keep an eye out for rare monster dens. Don't think I see any just yet. There's these two guys and I haven't really fought them yet, but I don't really want to because they're just so peaceful and I like them. I just want to let them be chill, not mess with them if I don't have to. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's the catavan. Oh, wait, oh, <gasps> this guy's come back. Oh, nice! Okay, I think I actually need some of his, like, special skills and materials, but... Alright, that's the paintball. That's right! I can throw paintballs at some of these monsters to try to, like, get them to go places so I can get another one of their eggs. I need to remember that, because sometimes they might flee inside of dens. Oh, there's just so much to learn. It's very exciting. But for now... Alright. Sunfeather, thank you for getting me this far. Let's switch over to Kiki. And let's move our way slowly and carefully into the deep jungles. Oh, this is beautiful. Guardian Ratha Woods. Head through the forest until you reach Guardian Ratha's den. Careful though, it's not a well-traveled path. Okay. Let's actually swap for just a second. All right. And hopefully that will give us an idea of where we need to go. And then let's ride Kiki up. Some herbs. There's apparently a treasure chest that we probably want to get. Kiki, you're so cool! Then we can go ahead and... There we go. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Totally missed that jump. That happens sometimes to the best of us, so don't worry about it. Alright, let's try again. Good job, good job. I think we almost got attacked by some of the monsters who, like, heard us land. There we go. And there's some treasure hiding down here. Two well-done steak. Well, that wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but I'll take it. And actually, we do need to fight. So let's come up on the, like, the back. Whoa! 
the whole big group of these guys? Okay, so I think normally these guys are technical, so we're gonna go ahead and go power with the Kuluyaku. All right, how did the technical attack? All right, those little bugs, we're not able to face Ranmar whatsoever. Power attack from me, speed attack. Uh, all right, let's try skills. Focus slash. No, let's just keep fighting. All right, gonna do my best. Okay, so yeah, so Kana is facing a little bit of damage, but these bugs are not something to worry about. We do have a quest to like clear some of them away. And I love the quest about that though. Think about it. You're really like helping to protect the village. I could get why this would be so important to do. And I need this Kulu Yaku. I know this sounds really weird, but I need... Oh, we're synchronized. Let's do this. Come on, Ranmar. But I need this Kulu Yaku's like feathers and skills that it's just casually without getting too hurt of course cough cough going to drop all right come on Ranmar. you're doing such a good job all right meanwhile let's go ahead and ride there we go right on we'll use our kinship skill oh it's trying rock hold now oh man <laughs> just as we managed to like pull out velocity crush that's all right Unfortunately, that's just fighting a rock, but... Oh, ooh, hard drop, yes! Oh, he's down! All right, all right, we're so close. I wonder if we'll be able to get another part dropped. I know this sounds really bad, but I need to upgrade the Kulu Beak. <laughs> all right, power, let's do this. Come on, guys. Okay, that is not going... Yep, yep, we're done. All right, down you go, Kuluyaku, sorry. All right, please have given me the parts I need. Oh, hey, and Sunfeather knows Rock Stampede now. All right, we got some shells and iron ore from those guys. Kuluyaku beak, hide, and another beak. See, I'm sure that's just cough, cough parts of the beak. So yeah, we're totally not just coming in and like wrecking the whole ecosystem. Cough, cough, cough. But all right, guys, so now that we have managed that, um, let's go ahead and let's figure out how to get ourselves a little bit further and deeper. There we go. A little bit further and deeper into this den so that we can see just what happened to Guardian Ratha. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for hopefully our soon to be completely awesome and newly upgraded the uh, Kuluyaku hammer. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.